Hey, so today I'm here to do a video for you on this green makeup look. I kept seeing people do green looks on Facebook and Instagram, probably because two days ago, was it, was um, St. Patrick's Day, I think. I don't know. When you're an adult, St. Patrick's Day means nothing. <laughs> So, but I think that's why I kept seeing so many green looks and it just, mm, I just feel like it was calling to me and I really wanted to do some type of green makeup. Actually, I, I like how it turned out. Normally I'm not a fan of green, but today it's looking pretty good. I kind of just feel like talking to you because I haven't posted in a while and I feel like there's a lot going on in the world and a lot to talk about. So uh, if you want to see how I got this look or what I have to say, then just keep watching. Okay, so I'm going to use my P. Louise eye base. So I decided to kind of mess with the settings on my camera. <sighs> no idea if this is going to look better. I was watching a YouTuber that said he turned off the auto white balance on his camera and um, apparently that's supposed to make things look not like really white and blown out like mine always look. So hopefully maybe this video will actually look good maybe. Okay so I've got out a lot of palettes to try to use different greens in them not really sure what I'm going for. Hey, just realized green nails and green eyeshadow. This is going to be great. Okay, so I want like a brown green color. I'm going to use the Anastasia Norvina Volume 2. And I'm going to take this lime green one right there. And then I'm going to try to mix a light brown color from my Viseart Grande Pro Volume 1 palette. Probably like, I don't know, something over there. Okay, I feel like that's a really pretty color. I just want like a dirty green Kind of reminds me of like money and I think I'm just gonna do a cut crease because I have been I don't know running out of ideas <laughs> there's only so many things you can do with makeup before you're just bored I could have done maybe a video where I do like random color generator and done like some random ass look didn't think about that till just now so that's not gonna happen maybe next time so I just dip into the brown and then dip into the green and and that's how I'm getting this weird color. So I feel like I should address the elephant in the room. <laughs> I guess apparently everyone's in quarantine. Um, feels like my normal life. Don't, I don't really freaking do anything. I don't know. I just stay at home and watch a baby. So nothing has really changed for me. Some people act like they're just gonna go crazy in their house. I mean, I do that too already when I have to stay with the baby for a long time. So it's just nothing new. In all honesty, I feel like I'm the only person in the world right now who just really does not care to read about the coronavirus 24-7 and talk about it 24-7. Like I cannot stand being on Facebook right now. I've resorted to um, just staying on TikTok where like the funny things are because normally I would just get on Facebook to watch funny videos and look at memes. <laughs> but now I like, mm, I, I see like two statuses. And they're both about coronavirus and then I'm like, I'm done. I don't even want to be on here anymore. I just, uh, if, okay, if this was like a virus that was terrifying, like gonna kill you if you got it, okay. It would, I don't know, maybe I'd be more scared. <laughs> I'm just not really scared of the flu or cold. Uh, I get it. We're trying to protect the people who can't deal with it if they got it make sense okay i get that but i just mm, i just don't care to hear about it 24 7 i don't know i don't know why this color reminds me of like a pickle it feels very weird to be making a video right now i haven't made one in so long my cousin had my laptop which was fine i was letting her borrow it and she lived in a different town i didn't want to drive all the way back there to get it so i just haven't had it in a while so i didn't make a video uh the last video i made it was trying the bloodless palette because I felt like I really needed to make that and I had to edit it on my phone. That sucks so bad. <laughs> oh my god. It took 10 years just to like download the videos from my camera to my phone and then editing it took so long so I will never do that again unless it's literally just something like a vlog. Something easy to edit but now I have my laptop and I can make videos i guess i don't know i don't know i just feel like i don't know what to make don't know if anyone cares when i make videos i feel like it's always a look that isn't that amazing unless you just want to watch me to listen to me talk nyx don't sigh at me so i think i'm gonna deepen it up a little bit with this color pop single eyeshadow in the shade team captain it's like um i think just a little deepening out here so i feel like more than anything recently I've been dealing with 
the most annoying sinus headaches and um, I've dealt with them for like a long time. I don't know. I don't really know what's causing them. Thought maybe it was allergies. Don't really think so. Allergy medicine does nothing for it. No medicine does anything for it. And I really don't think it's migraines. I don't know. To me, someone who has a migraine would be like, this is awful. I can't do anything. And that's really not what it is. I just get like a headache right here and behind my eyes and like down in here where your sinuses are. So I feel like it's a sinus headache, right? I just, nothing makes it go away and it's starting to drive me insane. Even if it's just a mild one, it makes me not want to do anything. I just want to lay on the couch until it goes away and then just it does not go away until I go to bed because it comes every night at like the same time and it's been doing that for several days in a row. I personally feel like it has something to do with the weather because it's been raining a lot. I've been thinking maybe I should get a dehumidifier since it's obviously been very humid outside because it's raining, <sighs> but I don't know. Or also it could just have to do with like the pressure in the air, which comes whenever the weather changes. So I don't really know how to fix that. Okay, so I went ahead and cut my creases off camera to save some time. I'm gonna use this neon yellowy green color um, from the Conspiracy palette. I love this green color, yellow color. I guess it's yellow. Okay, I love this, <laughs> this neon yellow color and I've heard so many people talk shit about it and I'm like, this is, that's the best neon yellow that I've ever used, I think. I have a feeling this is gonna look pretty bad packed on top of this dry ass e.l.f. camo concealer that is already set, basically. My washer is going ham right now, if you can hear it. It spins like it's about to take off. If you're trying to watch TV in the living room and the washer's on, you can't hear anything at all, so. I'm gonna go back in with the green from the Anastasia palette and try to blend these two together. Mm. <laughs> Don't know how well that's gonna go. One out of every five times that I do a cut crease, it'll look good enough to where I don't need to like go in with a glitter liner. But then like four out of five times, it always doesn't look good enough <laughs> and they need help. So I just started taking this little pencil liner and dipping it in the, the greenish color and I'm going around the cut crease <laughs> to kind of define it. And I feel like it's helping. Okay, I feel like, you know what? I think I'm gonna leave it. I think it looks okay enough. I think it would look so cool. Hear me out. If I just did like neon yellow eyelashes. <laughs> but I know whenever I take pictures for Instagram, it's gonna look awful because they always look awful if I don't have on my giant black eyelashes. I'm gonna try to clean up the edges. I was gonna let you know that I had one of my most traumatizing experiences the other day. <sighs> I have a true fear and hatred for people vomiting. I have it for myself also, but like, if it's me, what can you do? So ever since forever, really, I've been like, man, if I have a child, I don't know if I will be able to mentally handle them puking. Now Lila <laughs> had um, projectile spit up uh, forever when she was a baby. So I was used to that and it's really not that gross. It doesn't smell like vomit <laughs> and, and it doesn't look like vomit. It just looks like milk. I mean, it's nasty and not fun to watch or clean up, but you know. So the other day she had her first real throw up. I lost it. <laughs> I was just like freaking out. She was puking everywhere and she wasn't sick. She didn't have a fever. It was, she used to do this when she was younger too. And I think this is why she spit up all the time. But if she had mucus in her throat, she would spit up a lot more. I left the house and she started like freaking out, scream crying. And when she started doing that, uh, Isaiah said she was like trying to throw up because of like the mucus in her throat. But she didn't throw up, right? So later I come home and I'm the one who's up with her. And she starts coughing and I can like hear the mucus in her throat. And she wants to get it out of her throat. And I'm like, please don't throw up. Please don't do it. <laughs> and I was trying to like... I was putting, uh, what is that, like the nasal stuff in her nose because when she was little that would like help clear the mucus out of her throat and she wouldn't puke so much, a little spit up. So I was trying to do that but she would not let me. She wasn't having it. And she went into a room and we were like playing and then she started coughing and oh, she was like standing there holding both of her stuffed animals. 
and she was puking and then she was like walking at me and she puked again everywhere and then I was like I ran in the bedroom and I was like Isaiah wake up I was like she's puking everywhere he like runs in there and, I, and she like puked again oh my god it was all over the whole house I was like how do I even clean this it was traumatizing for me and I hated it <laughs> I hate it. Ugh. It's always been like a fear of mine. Like, how am I gonna have kids if I cannot handle like sickness? I like, I want to block that memory of that happening out of my brain forever and just hope that it never happens again. I know that won't be the case, but like, ugh. okay. So we've got on the regular eyelashes because I have to be a basic bitch. Um, I'm gonna put a metallic green on my brow bone. I'm gonna use the ColourPop Meant to Be palette, and I think I'm gonna take this one. Play it cool. Oh my fucking god, whoa. More intense than I expected. Sadly, my greens on my nails and my eyes don't match at all. By the way, if anyone knows anything about nails, I have on the 123 Go Gel Full Cover Nails from E Nail Couture. If you know, you know. But basically, I just wanted to say these are really flimsy when you don't have anything on them to give them strength. The guy who makes them does instagram videos about them all the time and says they're so strong or whatever like they're strong as in they don't been like this i guess but oh man they've been like i don't even know how to show you like this i'm not bending my finger i'm bending the nail and it just like these sides bend in and they feel uncomfortable when they do that normally what i do when i use nails like these is put dip powder on top of them which i literally just use plain acrylic powder and base gel coat. I feel like I don't know if anyone even knows what I'm talking about, but that will make them feel a lot stronger and better. And I do like doing that. It does add an extra step of like having to do all that and then filing and shaping them, but they feel way more sturdy that way. Okay, rant over. Okay, so I'm gonna do my face with you. I'm gonna use my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Stick Foundation in the shade Porcelain. Can't stop using this. Can't stop, won't stop literally this is the best thing i've ever used i already put on primer i've been using my ulta anti-caking primer which is literally just kind of like a thick oil a little bit of it goes such a long way so i feel like you definitely get a good amount of use out of it and it does make my face feel very nice and moisturized so my child has recently learned how to climb onto the couch and it has been the most terrifying thing ever because you can't really teach a one-year-old not to do something or discipline them so basically i just have to like put her down eight million times or let her do it i put the table right up beside the couch so like instead of her falling on the ground she would like go onto the table first if she fell she hasn't really fallen off of the couch yet but it's still just terrifying because she runs on it and i'm like will you just sit the fuck down it's been a lot but i i do understand that she is a growing child and she will learn to do things like that she kind of has to learn them or she'll never know so i'm using my elf hydrating camo concealer and then i'm just gonna take a little bit of this maybelline super staple coverage face powder in the shade fair porcelain and um just barely set right here okay so i've been using my maybelline city bronzer i realized it looks slightly green in pictures i don't think it looks like that in real life but I take a lot of pictures and I really don't want my contour to look green. But I started using it again. I don't know. I haven't really noticed it. But I've also been using this e.l.f. one with it. Um, e.l.f. bronzer in the shade Forever Sunkiss. This one is definitely a little bit darker and more pigmented. But I just put this one right here to add a little depth. Okay, I'm going to use my Tarte blush in the shade Sensual. I've been putting my blush right here on the bridge of my nose very weird i know it adds like more color to my face so i don't look so pale but also i feel like it pinches my nose in instead of when i put it on the tip of my nose my nose looks chunkier i don't know i just did this once whenever i was gonna put on freckles and i just like how it looks so i keep doing it okay so i found a nice green shirt to match the whole green moment nyx why okay i was really thinking it'd be like cool to use the same brow bone color on my face as a highlight probably gonna be weird but why not try you never know until you try oh my god oh god dude you guys can't even see this is 100 percent alien highlighter and i didn't even wet it i kind of like it 
because it matches the eyes. So it's not awful. It's like very, very intense. My hair looks so weird when I put on a hat because it's like so big, it bulges on this side. I think for my nose, I'm gonna use a regular highlighter so it doesn't look so weird. And then for the mouth, I'm gonna just use the only thing I ever use, ColourPop, so juicy. Lip gloss, why is there hair stuck all over it? Wow, so crazy. If I want my lips to be a little bit darker, I will take this really old Wet n Wild lipstick, but usually I don't, but today, feel like it could work. Okay, we need to do the bottom of the eyes. I'm gonna make the lower lashes lime yellowy green. Every time I do that, people ask me how I do it. You'll get to see how I do it, even though I've done it on video before. But first, I am gonna take that same brown and green mixture from earlier and just put that down here. Smoke it out, I guess, slightly. I don't like it to be too dark or smoky down here. It just does not look good on me. I've been super, super obsessed with buying clothes recently. I've come to the conclusion but I just don't care how my body looks in the clothes. <laughs> I'm just gonna wear things that I think are cute. Cause forever, I feel like it was more like, all I care about is if I feel like I don't look super fat in it. But then I was like so limiting myself to my true clothing possibilities. So I've been doing a lot of clothes shopping. I specifically wanted to take a portion of my tax money that I got back to buy new clothes because literally all I have is tie-dye things and black things. So that is what I did, loving it. I've come across a new shoe that I love. If you follow me on any other social media, you would know because I keep posting it. It's the Fila Distributor 2. They're like pretty cheap for shoes because I feel like Nikes are in the $100 range and these are in like the 60 to under range because I keep finding them on sale, which means I keep having to buy more. I have the pink ones that are so cute and they got little roses on them and I got neon yellow ones and I just got orange ones for $20. They were on Zoomies, the website. Um, they didn't even say $20 and then I put them in my cart and then like they went down to $20 and I was like, <laughs> okay, <laughs> I have to get them then. And then the yellow ones were like $40 and I was like, that's not bad at all. They're just so cute. I don't know. I want like every color. It's becoming a problem. Okay, I think I'm gonna leave my waterline empty. I'm gonna start with my NYX white liquid liner and just paint these lower lashes. Usually do like two coats to make sure they're extra white. Okay, my camera just, you know, decided to run out of memory randomly. This is what the eyelashes look like. They, for some reason, they're all <laughs> like, why? They're all spewing out different ways. They look like weird pieces of grass. I feel like they've never done that before. I guess I'm gonna put that one color that I used on my brow bone and my face in my inner corner. Whenever I take pictures with my camera, I feel like it just looks a lot better whenever there's a highlighter in my inner corner. Oh, damn, that's bright. Why is this like the brightest thing in the world? So I think that's all for this look in this video. Just wanted to do a lot of talking. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll be back soon with more videos. Thanks for watching, bye.